now that we understand that that certain solutes if put in water can be electrolytic and hence hence dissociate into dissociate or ionize into into two charged components okay <clears throat> we take it a step further one thing that you should understand in conductors in conductors electricity is due to the flow of electrons only flow of electrons only okay while in an electrolyte while in an electrolyte it is the whole molecule first of all two things happen which are which are unique to it right Okay, so so two things happen. The first is is that in in an in an electrolytic solution, <clears throat> two things happen. Number one, both positive and negative ions. move due to the electric field okay you'll understand more about it when you go to class 12th and you really start studying the electric fields there there is there is a field field from here to here okay so so this field will will push the will push the positive electrons positive to to towards this side okay so the positives they'll they'll tend to go here so maybe na plus right it will be pushed there and cl minus is the negatives they start they start moving in a direction opposite to the field so they move in this direction okay and that's how that that attraction and separation of the charges occurs okay the second thing is that these ions are heavy okay ions are heavy and hence move slowly under the influence of and hence move slowly under the influence of the field okay we have also just just now seen that that say something like nacl when put in water dissociates into na plus gets hydrated plus cl minus the reasons we had discussed right the reason is the the high dielectric constant of water as you go to class 12th you will learn that two charges attract each other each other like this okay where this is a charge okay this is another charge unit is is coulomb c this is the distance between the charges in a sense it looks like the newton's law of gravitation where where you had g into m1 m2 by r square this is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not is a constant don't don't get worried about it its value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 now it is this we were talking about this for water is 80 that is called the dielectric strength or relative permittivity okay anything 
डाई इलेक्ट्रिक स्ट्रेंथ और रिलेटिव पॉमिटिविटी पॉमिटिविटी बोथ ओके दिस और दैट ओके नाउ इफ इट इज एटी यू कैन वेरी वेल अंडरस्टैंड द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन गोज डाउन बाय अ फैक्टर ऑफ एटी ओके सो दैट इज व्हाट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सेपरेटिंग दम आउट ओके so a salt may 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 dissociate into na plus and cl minus same can happen with a mineral acid that can also dissociate into h plus and cl minus same can happen with a carboxylic acid as well which which can dissociate as no acid plus H plus, okay. The same thing can happen with sodium hydroxide, which splits into Na plus and OH minus, okay. And more strongly, an acid or base dissociate dissociates. Stronger is its acidic or basic property, okay. So. stronger is the acidic or basic property of an acid or base if it dissociates more in a solution yes yeah the kc the kc should be high for them okay thus <coughs> the equilibrium constant the equilibrium constant kc is very high for them okay now there is there is a small technical difference between two terms which sound alike and which we keep on using interchangeably as well that is a dissociation and ionization <coughs> dissociation is is splitting into ions splitting into ions of the particles which were in ion form in their solid states in their solid state okay splitting into ions of the particles which were originally in the ion form so na plus cl minus this is called dissociation okay this is called dissociation ionization is splitting into ions of the particles which were originally not in the not in the ionic form okay 
they were originally not together as an ion. So maybe they were covalently bonded, but the way you cleaved the bond, the way you cut the bond, there they suddenly became, there they suddenly became ionized. Okay, so uh, that that is uh, that is possible by by so many things that we'll study in organic chemistry. Maybe certain reagents you or a certain reactants you reacted with that it attacks the say say let us let us try to understand. it attacks it attacks it there, there is al already a partial shifting of the electron cloud to the right so what happens it immediately on the attack after the attack after the attack let me do it like this this is an electron okay this is another electron so after the attack this kind of comes here okay this comes here and what happens this becomes H C H H okay and and the CL is there and the H is there right okay this is a delta negative this is a delta positive so this get a, gets attached okay and what happens this OH minus this this OH now how many electrons does it have there were two rd two pairs there was one here now this was there this was there hold on this is this this is this this is this this is this and 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 there was this and there was this right now what has happened this this belonged to this there were there were six electrons it was kind of neutral though uh, if you if you if you if you do not take into consideration its high electronegativity, it was almost a neutral, slightly negative, nevertheless, slightly negative, but, but what happened now? Now it has taken, one full electron has been taken by it, okay? So what happens, this becomes, this green electron, this green